Now, the big fight, just keep coming here on Talks we're at Boxing. This Saturday night, we bring you live and exclusive commentary of a huge domestic dust-up. In the super lightweight division, Adam Azim defends his unbeaten record against O'Hara Davis. Just about clinging in here. Dangerous power. Hanging on to his career, but it is finished. O'Hara Davis. Because I lost my last fight, they, you know, they would say oh, Ahara has been washed up from way before Adam was meant to win. And if I win the fight, then they say, oh, it's a very bad loss for Adam. Ahara brings the heat. That's why we wanted this fight. He's a big, big name in British boxing. When you look at it, Ahara Davis has come from world level and it's a big, big, massive fight for me and a big opportunity for me to put myself up to world level. <laughs> Yep, this Saturday night, Talk Shows brings you live and exclusive commentary of a huge domestic dust-up. Um, I'm delighted to say, join us for more on this now is the man himself, Adam Azim. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, how you look? Uh, very Order, well. Mate. Adam, um, the Copper Box, the venue against the Harder Davis, have you fought there before? Um, no, I've never fought there, but I've been there before. You know, I've watched uh, a couple of fights there. Um, the atmosphere is really good there, so I'm looking forward to you know fighting up in Copper Box. What's it like, Adam? This fight is against um, your good friend O'Hara Davis. Same is, gym. Is yeah. that going to be weird fighting someone that's a good friend? It, it, for me, look, um, you know, for us to be successful, you know, sometimes you've got to fight friends, and mm. you know, I'm friends before the fight and I'm friends after the fight, and as, as soon as the bell rings, you know, straight straight into fight mode. Um, you know, a lot of it's more of like, you know, the friendship will keep up on the side, but we, we have to fight. That's yes. how it is. And uh, Adam, this is, uh, are we talking about, it was a Peacock Gym, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the Peacock Gym. It was me, Anthony Yord, uh, Bilal Ali, uh, and uh, Tunde was the main trainer, and Hora Davis was there at the same time. So we all used to be training together. We used to be, you know, we, uh, we used to be like alongside each other when we were young. Adam, I wanted to ask you about this um, that I saw on social media myself um, over the weekend. There was some controversy surrounding a potential fight with Dalton Smith earlier this year, which never ended up happening. Smith interrupted an interview with your promoter, Ben Shalom, speaking to IFL TV in Saudi Arabia last week. Have a listen. It will happen yep. next year. That's all we got. We heard it there. there it can happen yeah. next year. It will happen next year, 100%. Yep. Sweet. As long as you don't turn it down when it comes down. So. <laughs> Listen, there were only one turning it down for that fight. No, I said as long as it does, you don't turn it down when it comes round to it. Why would I turn it down when I was... There was only, what, there's only one person who turned it down. You're going to have to watch And who was that? You're going to have to watch Who was that? Was it me or Adam? Is it me? To... Who turned the fight down the first time? Definitely me or... not Adam. Definitely not Adam. You're going to have to Was watch... it me then? Of course not, did... but I'm saying... So it it's got to be Adam. Here and I'm saying as so long... did Adam turn the fight as down? As long as you don't... Did Adam turn the Adam fight down? Adam never turn any fight down. He so why didn't he fight me? You on his day why didn't he fight me? Because he has good people around him to make sure that he... So Adam pulled out the fight? Adam wouldn't pull out of any fight, though, and you know that. Did you I pull out the fight? No, <laughs> and I'm saying it will happen next year. Did I pull out the fight? Of course not. Did Adam pull out the fight? Adam wouldn't pull out of any So who pulled out? It wasn't the right time, and you know it. He's putting some pressure on Ben there, isn't he, Adam? What happened, mate? Um, do you know what? In my opinion, there he he's just trying to make a scene there, to be honest. Mm. Um, and uh, for instance, no, that fight is going to happen. It's going to happen like next year sometime. And <laughs> look, I my 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 focus is on Harry Davis right now. You know, sure after this fight. Then I'm going to start talking about Don Smith. I'm going to start talking about, you know, why he wants to fight, why he wants wants me. Because the only reason why he wants me is because he needs me. I don't need him. Yes. Is it a case of as well, you've got like your plan, you've got set in stone. Do you know what I mean? You've got, you've got to get over this fight first and then see what the future fights are. Yeah, of course. I've got a certain plan, which is a uh, hard days to fight first. Then afterwards, you know, I want to be hopefully targeting the IBO World title, which is vacant right now. Sorry about this, but we've lost the feed. We can't hear you. Um, Adam, I was, I was just going to say that everyone wants to go to Saudi now, don't they? Big money, they're, they're big, big fights, big nights. And as well, um, Al, they're making big fights happen. 
You know, like he says, he's he's going to get past um, his friend the horror Davis, and then after that, that must be hard think, fighting your mate. I get it though what he's saying. Sparring you're, yeah, fighting you're friends, but when you're in there, you've got a job to do. You put that friendship aside, and then after the fight, you're straight over. You know, what I mean, you're hugging your friend and seeing that they're okay, and then you're friends again. So sometimes you have to do it because. A lot of these boxers are. They're friends with so many other boxers. Mm. And you have to fight each other to get past. I'm sure you'd like to stick one on a harder, wouldn't you? I'd love to, mate. I mean, Jamie. I'd uppercut him so far <laughs> out the ring. Give me flying out that wing like other boxers. <laughs> on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.